What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are continuing the FC3S Time Attack build. Uh, this will be episode 8, but more of an unboxing and product review. I've heard great, great, great things about CSF product, and I needed to... I guess just to kind of give some some background. Um, I'm running a dual oil cooler, and with the Rocket Bunny front bumper, there are no cooling passages at the bottom on the sides for the oil coolers that I am running. And so I was trying to figure out a way to go back to the stock oil cooler on the RX-7, but with the power that I'm making, I'm told by a reputable source that running the stock oil cooler, I would have to run another oil cooler because the stock oil cooler is not suffice for the power that the vehicle makes. And so I reached out to my buddy Fritz over at Lucky 7 and I talked to him about uh, cooling. Um, we basically are building almost the same car, we have the same body kit and things like that. And so I asked him what oil cooler he's running and, you know, mounting locations and things like that. And so he told me about the CSF oil cooler that's similar to the stock oil cooler, but a little slightly bigger um, and better cooling. And so he ordered me one. I went and picked it up today, and I have not seen it in person. I've only seen pictures online, and so I wanted to kind of do an unboxing of the oil cooler and just to see what it looks like, what I'm working with, you know, how big it is and things like that, and so without further ado, let's Let's open this. Let's unbox this. Unbox this. Got tongue tied, tongue twisted. All right. So we got these box staples. Let me. Uh, there we go. Um, to do this side. Okay. Camera was in the way, but it's okay. All right. So let's see what we got here. Oh. 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 This is nice. Okay. Alrighty. So. So, so, so. Okay. So here are the lines for the oil cooler. I'm wondering if I should run it. Oh, this is beautiful. I believe it is a dual pass oil cooler have your mounting holes up here up top oh and at the bottom you have some mounting holes so I'm thinking maybe I could run it like this and have my lines come out from this side like the stock uh, oil cooler and then you have these mounting points here so I can make brackets to oh this is beautiful so just an unboxing, just quality, very sturdy, very beefy. You can see the core passages are really, really nice and thick. The end tanks are really nice. This is a nice, pretty, pretty heavy oil cooler. Got some damage here, but that can be fixed. I'm not worried about that. Oh, wow. This is really nice. So, here it is, the CSF oil cooler. Universal oil cooler. I believe they call this the Boss Kit oil cooler, from what I've read online. Um, if you're running the Boss Kit, like if you have a 240 um, and you run the front uh, front bumper of a let's say a Datsun 510 wide body 
Um, I've seen a lot of those guys run this oil cooler on the outside. Um, and the way CSF has built this and made this, um, it's made to withstand any rock chips or anything like that. Um, oh yeah, this is, this is good quality. This is really good quality. I cannot wait to put this on the car. There will be a video, uh, installation video, uh, for this, uh, mounting and running lines and things like that. Uh, it does come with your already dash 10. So I don't have to get any fittings because it's already welded on there. So all I have to do is just run my lines. Oh, this is nice. <sighs> happy. I'm, I'm happy with this so far. Uh, I am curious as to what it's going to do for my cooling and how the oil cooling is going to work. So I am happy with that. Or I'm excited to see how that's going to work out. So just wanted to do an unboxing. Uh, this is the oil cooler. This is what we are going to be going to. It is going to get mounted in the front. And I'm thinking somewhere where the light buckets are on the front bumper. So if you are familiar with the Rocket Bunny uh, front bumper for the FC. It kind of has the rally lights in the front and Instead of running lights. I'm going to use that as ducting for this why because it's a race car and That's what I want to do. So Yeah, this is this is nice. I, I can't Can't though even look at the welds. Oh my god. This is beautiful beautifully built Beautifully built <clears throat> yeah, I I am I am stoked. I am stoked to to get this on the car to mount it up. So that's going to be the next video. The next video is going to be mock up and where we are going to run or where we're going to put the oil cooler. So once I do that, then I can figure out what fittings I'm going to need things like that. I am going to have to redo some of my lines. So, oh man, this is nice. This is really nice. This is really nice. This is really nice. I really like it. I know I'm, I'm, I'm saying that a lot, but if you guys could feel how beefy and, and sturdy and strong this is. Yeah. So, Next video is going to be mocking up and mounting the oil cooler. I don't know if I want to do it before mounting the bumper or after mounting the bumper. Because um, that's, that's the next project as well. Most of the body work for the car is done. If you are following the channel, if you are subscribed to the channel, uh, I do have a update of the body work that's being done on the car, which I'm doing myself. I'm a beginner, so it's not perfect. It's not the greatest, but again, it's a race car and I'm not building a show car. I do want it to look nice or decent, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, I still got some work to do, but yeah, that that's going to be the next video. Uh, mounting the bumper and getting this mounted up as well. So, yeah, CSF, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful oil cooler. I am stoked. I am stoked. Well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you don't miss the next drop. It is coming soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.